Thank you for tuning into our seller interview series. Up today, we've got an Amazon FBA business for sale in the outdoors niche. Created in April 2015, this business makes $5,575 per month a net profit, and the listing number for the business is 46115. We do these interviews to give potential buyers more information about both the seller and the businesses they're looking to purchase. We hope these insights are helpful for you in making a buying decision. We've got the seller with us today to go through the business and cover everything from niche selection to traffic and monetization. Yana, thank you for coming on here today. How are you doing? Good. Hi, Jay. Thanks. Yeah, it's my pleasure, and I'm excited to discuss this business with you. But before we dive into the questions that I have for you, I want to go ahead and run through a little quick summary of the business. Again, it was built in April of 2015 as a monthly revenue of $24,741, expenses of $19,165 to make for a net profit of $5,575, which is generated on a 12-month average. Included in the sale of this business are seven SKUs, the domain and all site content and files, social media accounts, trademark, and please note that inventory is not normally included in the list price. Further details can be provided to active depositors. Yanif, can you tell us a little bit about your background in building and running online businesses? Sure. I, uh, about six or six years ago, I finished a business school. I started a job as a copywriter. I was writing uh, Kickstarter videos and I started selling uh, stuff on eBay just as a kind of a hobby. Then I uh, saw what's going on on Amazon. I saw the money is on Amazon and I started learning it thoroughly. And then I started my first brand, my first private label brand, which is uh, this one. And that's what I've been doing full time for the last five years or so. So why have you decided to exit this business today? Well, I do a lot of things right now. I have this brand. I have another toy brand. I'm a partner in another toy brand. I have a pretty big uh, merch by Amazon business, a t-shirt business with uh, tens of thousands of designs. So I'm doing a lot. Now, the main reason is a new development. I'm developing and more complex toys right now, which takes a lot of research and development and engineering money. So I want to invest a lot in uh, actually product development. And there is also the other reason is that pretty much all my uh, eggs are in the Amazon basket and you'll never know. So I want to have some uh, cash too. That's always good. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. And, you know, diversifying your income there is always something that people are looking to do. So can you explain to me how you've been so successful here? What has caused your business to take off, whereas other people haven't been able to? Well, one major reason this brand has been stable for five years, maybe even more, is a lot of people uh, are complaining Amazon is harder now. It's harder to get a product to succeed than before. Uh, it may be true, and this brand has a few products that started, let's say, back when it was easier. They accumulated reviews. They have great uh, sales history. Um, they are <laughs> Amazon's choice in lots of good keywords. So it doesn't matter that many competitors come along we still see a stable income and to be, how do you say it in English? To be modest, I was pretty good at it when I started. I was taking all of my time to find a good, good products to make. Excellent. So can you explain what it takes from you, the owner, to maintain this business as is? Well, actually, right now, with all the other things I do, this brand pretty much runs on autopilot. I don't do much. I do mostly monitoring. I monitor sales. I monitor pricing. I create uh, promotions like lightning deals, which are doing good, and outlet deals. Um, I do the communication with the buyers, but it's not much. Every now and then, every few days, you get a message from a customer. And uh, maybe the main thing I do is the communication with the Chinese suppliers. 
and make new orders. That's what I do now. It's two hours, three hours, four hours a week. It's not much. I used to do a lot more. I used to do social media and myself pretty much let it go because I didn't feel like I'm getting a profit from it. But uh, it's something that's worth doing. If somebody would spend a little more time than me, I would utilize the big following that we have on Facebook. But what I do right now is basically monitoring everything and communicating with the suppliers. You mentioned that you have social media accounts, but you're not really utilizing them anymore. How were you utilizing them in the past? I was pretty much sending traffic from Facebook to Amazon. I wasn't trying, there is a website too, I never tried to get people to go to the website. I was getting them to Amazon because I know Amazon likes the outside traffic. Pretty much did uh, some funny stuff just to get the followers to like us and to fall in love with the brand. Outdoors people can be very loyal and uh, I would post whenever there is an outlet deal or some lightning deal or is it uh, Christmas time or summer then I would uh, advertise the product. I tried some uh, paid advertising and it was hard to monitor if it's profitable or not and then I just let it go mostly because of the lack of time but like I said it's worth doing. If you were to continue running this business yourself, what are the major opportunities for growth that you would focus on? There is uh, something that I'm, I'm already doing that is uh, improving advertising. I had a little bit of a fall in profits because of Amazon PPC. I had a bad management in 2018 and I switched the uh, PPC manager about four months ago, I think, and it's starting to get better. So monitoring and improving the PPC is crucial. And to grow more, there is something I already started too, which is Amazon EU, UK, Germany, Spain, Italy, France. I already started in the UK and Germany. It's starting right now to show sales and it should grow a lot more. Also, I would make more products in the niche. Like I said, my time went to other things and I didn't add a new product to this brand for a year. And you should always get uh, new products. It's pretty easy to find uh, new products in this niche. Uh, Social media, like I said before, it's important. And there is also something to check that I wanted to check. It's called the small and light program by Amazon. It can increase the profits of this brand. So I didn't do it yet, but something to look at. Do you feel like there are any potential risks associated with this business that a new owner should be aware of? Not specifically for the brand itself. There is always, uh, for me, the general fear of Amazon. Uh, We're Amazon sellers. We don't know will Amazon be as great as it is in two years. Maybe it will be better. Statistics show it's getting bigger, but maybe another site will come along. That's scary for me. That's like what I said uh, in the beginning, why I don't want to have all my eggs in the Amazon game. I still have more brands on Amazon. It looks like this brand has survived the market maturing. I mean, lots of uh, niches, they go, it's harder to make money Well, lots of uh, new competitors come along. And uh, our sales have dropped a bit with new competitors, but they stabilized and it looks now like even if lots of competitors come, it doesn't affect us, which is great. So I don't fear the brand itself. I do uh, fear Amazon. Would you commit to a non-compete? Sure, and they have no plan in uh, selling more uh, outdoor products. I'm all in on toys now on Amazon. I will keep selling on Amazon, but it will be toys and games. It won't be outdoor products. Mm -hmm. 
How much support are you willing to provide a new owner during the transition period? I think we'll need to help the new owner a lot at first. I'm not sure. Probably for the first few weeks, I will help as much as needed. Later, we can probably do a weekly call uh, for two months, three months. Haven't thought about it, I have to tell you, but I don't think I will have a problem helping. Are you open to negotiating on something like an earnout? A bit. I do need uh, some money pretty fast for the product development I'm doing, but it's possible. Awesome. Yeah, now thank you very much for taking the time with me today. Before I let you go, my final question. If you're looking at this business from the perspective of a potential buyer, why would you feel like it is an asset worth buying? So this brand has been on Amazon for, I think, over five years, and it's very stable. It has great sales history compared to others in the niche. It's got lots of reviews. It got lots of good keyword ranking. It probably won't be moved from lots of Amazon choice badges. It has a, a very good standing on Amazon. And as a buyer, I can be sure I will get a stable income. Of course, there is the Europe thing right now when we just started and probably with being in all the EU markets, you can probably get 20, 30, 40 more percent revenue and profits. So I think uh, it's a great opportunity and stable. Awesome. Thank you very much for taking the time with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Jake. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. And if you want more information, the link will be below the video that will take you to this marketplace listing. If you're watching this on the listing page or want more information, become a depositor today. When you make the deposit, one of our business advisors will be in contact with you. You'll be given everything you need to review this business. Have a great day.